A new documentary highlights the experiences of a podcaster who posted online using an account called Your Fat Friend. Aubrey Gordon says the documentary describes her experiences of being kicked off of planes, refused doctor's appointments and constantly having conversations about dieting. Now, the film has been made by documentarian Janie Finley, who says it's about time that fat people were viewed as heroes and not just the punchline of jokes. Take a look at this. My aim is to provoke people to question ideas that we've held on to for so long. At the tender age of 11, I had already attended kids' fat day camps. Now, there are calls for rules to be given to actors and actresses without taking their size into account. Uh, Marina, what do you think about this? Do we need more plus-size role models, I suppose, on TV and film? So, when I initially had this question posed to me, I thought, hmm, I think, actually... I feel like we see all different shapes and sizes on TV, like much more now compared to when I was younger and, you know, everyone had to be sort of stick thin. But then I thought about it a bit more because this isn't just about having them on TV. Mm. This is about having bigger people in role model positions and not as the butt of jokes. And then I start to think about, well, like, what films, you know, do I enjoy? What series do I enjoy? And actually, if you think about films like Shallow Hal, a nutty professor, sister act, Austin Powers, Hitch. The bigger people within all of those films are always the butt of the joke. Yeah. And then even other, like Monica from Friends, when she was bigger. Water. Working Mums is another series that I love. And, it, and I'm like, gosh, this is actually something that does need let's, to be addressed. Let's take a look out of that clip, um, uh, a clip rather from Shallow How, where the main character played by Jack Black makes quite a lot of jokes about weight. Building the parachute? Excuse me? They're a little big, aren't they? Oh, I get it. You ripped the spinnaker on your sailboat, right? What do you think, Lynn? What do you think about comedy like that? I think Are we using it too much? Well, like that, I I'm all for comedy and the rawest types of comedy. But the thing that kind of annoys me is it's always like the women that's the butt of the joke. I know the reality is women uh, visually in terms of aesthetics seem to be held to a higher standard. But I think, you know, the I don't like the way that men get away with it a little bit better. But if we look at this, I don't know. We're, we're looking at, you know, a person who was a size 26. This should absolutely never be normalised. It should not be celebrated. Of course, if you have an illness, whether that's to do with your nymph nodes or your hormonal, that's different. But there is a huge percentage in Britain now of people that are not eating healthy or they're not exercising and it's creating a huge strain on the NHS. We spend 6.5 billion mm. with obesity related illnesses. So if we start to normalise it where we're seeing, you know, ob obese people everywhere, there's many people that will tell you what got them into losing weight, getting into shape was feeling not good, that it is not good to be huge. It's unhealthy. So you think this would promote it? Interesting. I want to speak to now an actor called George Kaywood on this. George, thank you for joining us. Uh, how do you think that plus size people are represented on film and TV? I think terribly. Like I, I was in BAFTA award winning TV show, People Just Do Nothing. And... You know, I was always the butt of the joke. Like, Craig was always the butt of the joke. And, you know, I love the show, I love the boys, but ultimately I feel like plus-size actors are always portrayed in either a negative way or portrayed in a way that they're always the joke. You know, there's never a serious scene. I've never been offered a role where it's like, George, you have, you know, um, an intimate scene with another actress. You know, not that I'm looking to do that, but just because... It should be shown, you know, like uh, the whole point of TV and film is to show what really happens in the world and is to, to you know, with like, thrillers and stuff like that, and films is to show um, a story, you know, from real life. I mean, that's the whole point of going to the cinemas because you want to believe that it's real. You want to think that it's real. And I, I think it's really disappointing to see other plus size people feeling down because they can't see their role model in a film. Like for me, I saw James Corden in Gavin and Stacey and that was a massive breakthrough for me, you know, as a plus size young person in, in, in seeing that I could achieve and I could be an actor and I saw James Corden and that's what clarified to me that it can be done and George, I can achieve that same dream. 
George, James Corden did predominantly play comedy acts initially in his, his mm, career. Mm. So he was already reflecting that and it still inspired you. I suppose the criticism, or what would you say to the criticism mm. that actually carrying additional weight is not going to be good for your health and it's not something that we should encourage or put up in a pedestal on TV and film? Yeah, I mean, of course, look, in no way should we ever encourage anyone to be unhealthy um, you know, obviously we're not encouraging that. I I think we need to separate those two things because, you know, there's, there's, you know, the health side, which is a separate matter, but then there's the side of your mental health, you know, where, you know, seeing other actors portrayed in a good way, in a positive way, plus size actors will encourage people to feel better in themselves as well. And a lot of young people who are plus size will give them the confidence to think, well, actually, look at this guy. He's doing amazing. Like, I can do that, you know. I think the whole weight loss aspect is a separate issue. Um, and I don't think that being on TV is encouraging people to be plus size, um, especially when you're the butt of the joke. It's the complete opposite. I think that's quite negative. And I, I think the impact that does to someone is much greater than just being plus size itself, you know. Mental health is a bigger issue than being plus size in, in my eyes. And, you know, I I, I think that we shouldn't just completely remove plus size people from TV and that's going to cure an issue because it's not going to happen. No, it doesn't happen just by removing, you know. The thing, I don't want to just concentrate on uh, obesity per se, but if mm. we look at the trends of culture, popular culture and the effects it has on society and the impact of what it can do, would you then agree or support, let's say, for example, consistently championing people with bulimia and anorexia who could, it could encourage young girls to then be really skinny, which is equally as damaging and those at those who are obese? Would you not see, because there's a huge campaign at the moment, especially with TikTok, where there are lots of people People that are saying we need to remove those who are encouraging young girls to be really skinny. What is the difference between that and saying, you know, the same applies for those who are encouraging to see more people Over with me. obesity George, as role models? I think I think what you've just said is two separate things because you're saying that women on TikTok are encouraging people not to eat and, you know, that's that's completely wrong on so many levels, you know, just like it would be if I was to say, go on, guys, everyone eat. I want you to eat 10,000 calories today, you know. If I was to encourage people like that, that is wrong, you know. But for me, just to be an actor, living my dream and, you know, on TV, out there, you know, playing characters and being a character that I can be proud of mm -hmm. and people can look at it and think, wow, like that guy really, you know, really killed that role. And I would love to do that. You know, it shouldn't be, um, you know, it's a separate thing. It's a yeah, separate thing. I, I think I, TikTok I, I is an strange place to be, you know. We're getting the calls really coming in, George, so I want to get to them, but stay mm. with us. Martin from South Yorkshire, what's your thoughts on this? Do you think that we pigeonhole larger actors too much? We certainly do. Because what's wrong with being a larger person on TV? I think is is it Alison Stedman that does uh, ITV's early morning Alison. breakfast? Oh, oh, Hammond, Alison Hammond. Yeah, I was going to. I, we, she's just a single name person now. You just know her as Alison. That's all you need to know. Uh, Alison does this morning. Yes, I don't. I, I see what you're saying. Would you have a problem with that, Lynn? No, but even with... And I, I love her progress. She's even said what? that she's lost a lot of weight and mm. she feels better for it. So I agree with you. If it if we move away from the fact of someone being obese, of course you should have roles that reflect uh, other people in society, not just the butt of the joke. But at the same time, I don't want to see obesity being championed and normalised, mm. you know? But I think this is about reflecting real life. So you have people in real life who are bigger, who are very successful in their own right and that, I guess that's not being reflected across mm. TV and, and, and film. Martin though you bring up Alison which is I suppose a great person to bring up she's hugely popular um, on, on TV do you think then things are getting better that maybe we are going away from the traditional um, view that everybody has to be sort of stick thin to be on TV or film I'm just thinking is it um, this is us and there's a character in it called Kate. Now, I believe that she is one of the, the main characters. There is no real reference to her, her weight. She just plays her part and her role um, as she does. We're seeing more and more of that in programmes, aren't we? One of the other things I would say is 
how many times do you watch a film or a TV show where one of the characters is overweight and it's a normal size, if, if there is such a thing as normal size, and they're wearing fat suits. If you want somebody on TV to say, no, yeah. we're playing a fat person, or a, an overweight, I don't like the word that, fat. You're, 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 you're talking about, I, see, I hear what you're saying, you're talking about things like the whale when you've got a, a normal sized actor wearing a fat suit when you could have got somebody that was overweight playing that part. I think that gets into the you have to be who, whatever character you're playing, which I'm not sure Georgie would agree with. Would you agree with that? That, you know, I, I suppose it's only Yorkshireman can be played by Yorkshireman. Um, look, I mean, I think with accents is completely different. I think visually um, it is just so wrong. And I'm so glad that you showed the little clip there of Brendan Fraser mm -hmm. in The Whale because I was thinking about this earlier and I thought, wow, how wrong is this? You know, uh, a normal sized person gains a dramatic amount of weight to portray a plus size man like why is there a need for that like there's there you could have called me you know <laughs> there's no need to um to do that and I, I, it really baffles me and it really kind of ups, upsets me because this is i mean i don't want to compare it to this um but it's kind of like the whole little britain thing with you know painting yeah. your face and yeah. all of this stuff. it's the same sort of line you know i think obviously it's a completely different thing and we get it but you know i feel like it's on that same line of portraying a different race or you know uh, a different gender and I think you've got to be very careful in how you do that um, when you know you I know think, I think I mean we're running out of time we've got like 10 seconds left mm. uh, but George we, we strayed into another territory there that actually I think is a, a whole debate entirely mm. uh, but you bring up mm. a good point it's a documentary I, as soon as it's I'm able to access it. I'll be watching it. It looks really compelling. George, thank you very much for joining us. That's George keyword there. Keyword there.